And here's another big, basically heavy leaner mulberry tree just reaching out for the sun. Same thing as the walnuts. They can take a really hard pruning. You can't hurt a mulberry tree. It's another, another fruit tree, basically. And I took so much weight off the end of this thing. That thing was all out into these wires here. It wasn't quite into the wires, but I don't know if you can see that cut right there. Let's take a look at that. You know, six, seven inches. And that was just one. There was a couple other fairly sizable ones out there and then a bunch of little stuff down low here. So, it's a huge amount of weight off the end of this thing. It's going nowhere, it's fine. You could have cut the tree down, but why would you? You know, he's, he's, he's using a nice part of this border here between him and the, there's a, actually a water. There's actually a, a water tank back here for the water company. Anyhow, that's the way I like to prune them. Take some weight off those tips. And I could have taken more, could have taken less. I took plenty though. That was, that's the issue. How much do you take? You take enough. Enough to make sure this tree doesn't fall apart. And it brings it back in aesthetically. You don't, you don't even notice this tree unless you look up. It's like, it's just part of this line of trees here. So however it was pruned, it's, uh, aesthetically doesn't matter. It's, it's fine, aesthetically. But functionally, it's perfect in that it's going nowhere for quite some time.